Ladies and gentlemen, the Nitro High School's Air Force Junior ROTC Honor Guard team proudly presents our nation colors and remains standing in respectful silence for the playing of our national anthem by the Nitro High School Band. The American flag is being carried by the commander of this evening's Honor Guard, Cadet First Lieutenant Audrey Durback. The West Virginia state flag is being carried by Cadet Master Sergeant Wyatt Dean. Cadet Staff Sergeant Caleb Sapp is the American rifle bearer. The state rifle bearer is the Cadet Captain Samuel Templeton. You may be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If you would please bear with us, we're going to go off script at this time. The class of 2022 is very fortunate to have one of the top West Virginia's track and field athletes in its class, or in its graduating class. And he has a track meet, a race at 755. So we are going to recognize him now, then he's going to get into a police car and get to Lady Field so he can compete. Damon Jamal Crandall. Good evening. Welcome to the Nitro High School Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. On behalf of the 2022 senior class, I am pleased to introduce Nitro High School graduate and current Kanawha County Schools board member, Tracy White. With Ms. White this evening is also Kanawha County Schools board member, Rick Cavender. Good evening, Wildcats. We want to say on behalf of Superintendent Tom Williams and the entire Kanawha County Board of Education, congratulations to the Nitro High School class of 2022. (laughs) 
this senior class has endured a lot. Most of your career has, in high school has um, you faced things that many other students in past classes have not. You have faced a pandemic and several other things that has made your experience very unique. And it's also made you uh, extremely, uh, be able to be extremely successful. Uh, and we are just extremely proud of you and your work ethic and the fact that you're sitting here tonight uh, means a whole lot. And we're really proud of you all. So one more round of applause for all of you all. Ms. White. Hello, Wildcats. Tonight is about you guys. It's all about you. Um, you've come a long way. And after tonight, first of all, I'd, I'd like to start by um, calling out a very special someone who I promised one night at the Mexi Hut that um, I would say hey during graduation. Colin Robinson, hey. Now, whether you decide to go to college or you go learn a trade or you go to work from a trade you've already learned, whether you are joining the military, whether you are going to take some time off to find yourself, whatever you decide to do after today is your path. It's yours. Own it. Are you going to make mistakes? Absolutely. Are you going to fall? Probably. Are you going to really wish that you make decisions that you shouldn't have? Maybe. But at the end of the day, pick yourself up, lick your wounds, and start over. There will never be anyone in your life that will talk to you more than you talk to yourself. So be nice to yourself. Give yourself a break. This world is going to be out there to rip you apart as much as it wants to. So be nice to you. Be kind, be humble, be the hardest working person in the room. But at the end of every day, be you. Because today, tomorrow, 25,000 years from now, who you are today is absolutely 100% good enough. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Our first student speaker is Kaylee Babbitt. Kaylee is the daughter of Patri Patricia, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Patricia and James Babbitt. Kaylee is the president of Mu Alpha Theta, parliamentarian of Honor Society, and has been member of Key Club and Junior hum Humane Society. She is also a former captain and four-year player on the Nitra High School soccer team. In the fall, Kaylee will be attending Marshall University as a member of the Honors College and will be majoring in biology. Good evening to my classmates, their friends and family, the faculty and administration of Nitro High School. This evening, I want to address my classmates, those who I'll see again and those I won't. And as I stand here, I'm vastly thankful for the impact we as a whole have had on each other's lives. As we move forward, embarking on separate paths, my, ho my hope for each one of us is that we should move with not only the wisdom and knowledge we've gained through our time here, but with love and kindness. No matter how small the action, many of us may not realize the impact we have on those around us. But so many of you have impacted me personally without even realizing it. My biomed and AP chemistry families, thank you for picking me up when I feel a little down or stressed about an assignment. To the girls in the bathroom, your pathing, passing compliments always made the rest of my day. And to our positive classmates and friends, you inspire me to look at the bright side even when I don't want to. And finally, those of you who have just been kind to me whenever I needed a friend. An old friend of mine once gave me a keepsake that read friends are flowers in the garden of life. She may not know the joy that that friendship brought to me or that I still have what she gave me sitting in my room. But I say this all to say that this right here is our garden. This was but a season of our lives, but I think we have all been able to bring beauty and happiness into each other's lives for this season. Well, some of us. Okay, maybe most of us. <laughs> Jokes aside, as we enter our next season of life, be a friend. Plant seeds of kindness in someone else's garden because you never know how your kindness will impact someone else. 
Looking back on the four years we've spent together, I can still remember so vividly the first day of ninth grade, being so excited for the new freedom that high school would bring, but also the nervousness that was comforted by all the friendly faces and kindness of the teachers that I've grown so close to now. I can remember at the end of ninth grade getting to volunteer at the Special Olympics and the joy that all of our classmates' faces brought to that day. I remember all the sporting events, football games, tailgates, basketball games, and student sections. I remember the joy of being part of our soccer team, the bonding with my teammates, and of course our locker room dance parties. I remember how happy I was at all the school tournaments we had, like our annual powder, powder puff game. Not to flex on the class of 2021 or anything, but our class was of course the two-time champions. And finally, I know we all remember the excitement of going to our first homecoming and prom and the bittersweet feeling of going to our last. We were all told that time would fly, but I don't think any of us realized how true that was until recently. As I stand here recalling all of this, it's so striking to me now how all of these people that I love and have seen every day for the past 12 years are all moving on to a new chapter, many far away from me and mine. This next transition may be difficult, stressful, and probably uncomfortable for a lot of us, but armed with our extensive knowledge in kickball and powder puff, I believe that we are extremely capable and able to excel in each part of our lives, as well as be a light in the lives of those around us. I leave each of, all, I leave each of you all with my best wishes and thanks for all the moments, the good, the bad, and the learning ones that you've brought to my life. Thank you and congratulations to my family and the class of 2022. Our next student speaker is Elizabeth O'Leary. Elizabeth is the proud daughter of Brigetta and Michael O'Leary. She is the president of DECA, where she was recently named an international finalist at the DECA International Career and Development Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. Outside of DECA, her other leadership roles include secretary for the National Honor Society and senior representative for Mu Alpha Theta. She is also a passionate soccer player who played four seasons for Nitra High School. Outside of athletics and academics, Elizabeth enjoys traveling to unfamiliar places, hanging out with her friends, and going on late night drives. In the fall, Elizabeth will be attending West Virginia University and the Honors College to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering and minor in finance. Friends, family, faculty, and my fellow graduates, it is an honor to speak before you today in honoring the Nitro High School class of 2022. I am so thankful for the amazing support system that I found with my friends and teachers at Nitro High School. Without them, I would have not found out my passions that I will take to my next endeavor. Almost four years ago, most of us were afraid, oh, my bad. <laughs> Most of us did not know what to expect. Many of us were afraid, while others were ecstatic to start a new chapter of our lives. Like many of you all, I was afraid. I truly did not know what to expect when walking through those glass doors, but I was especially not expecting to see Mr. Redmond frolicking in an elf costume, <laughs> as well as him rigging powder puff and kickball games. If you guys didn't know, Redmond is the worst ref out there. Please never hire him. He told me not to put that in the speech, but I really thought it was necessary. Anyway, we all made it through. We accomplished one of the most significant early milestones for our lives. Many of us, this graduation is just another stepping stone in the path of our education. Many of us are headed to college, have apprenticeships, are preparing to serve our country in the military, or stepping straight into the workforce. All pivotal steps in preparing us for our future careers. We also have others who are still figuring it out, which is totally okay. Do not succumb to the idea that your life has to be figured out at 18 years old. It absolutely does not. Success is not measured by who kickstarted their life first. I found this anonymous quote and I hope it resonates with some of you who feel anxious about the next chapter. Someone graduated at the age of 22 and waited five years before securing a good job. Somebody became a CEO at 25 and died at 50 while another became a CEO at 50 and lived to be 90. Everyone in this world works based on their own time zone. People around you might seem to be ahead of you, but some might seem to be behind you. But everyone is running in their own race, in their own time. Do not envy them and do not mock them. They are in their time zone and you are in yours. Life is about waiting for the right moment to act. So relax, you're not late, 
you are not early, you are right on time. This quote reminds us that pace is everything. Pace your life based on your needs and whatever path you choose, I'm sure will be a great one. With that being said, one thing I wish to change was the pressure we put on ourselves. None of us are perfect and we all make mistakes. As Ms. Elkin says, entropy happens. Life is spontaneous. The ignition of matter, or in other words, the events in our lives, sometimes happen without probable cause. Life gets in the way and can be unkind and cruel to us. Many things we feel we do not deserve happen anyways. Nothing in our life is guaranteed, and we are not defined by our shortcomings or our past mistakes. We are, however, defined on how we respond to our mistakes and changes in our lives. Like I mentioned before, you nor anybody else in this universe is perfect, so it is okay to make a mistake. However, you must learn from that mistake, you must take accountability, and you must seek feedback from others in order to continue your path to success. I hope that you all take the lessons you learned from this closing chapter of our lives and take them with you. Us graduating tonight has already proved that we can be successful in whatever path we put our minds to. As we continue our next path in life, remember the great achievements cannot be achieved without confidence and hard work. I know each and every one of you has what it takes to become successful, and I'm so proud of everyone here. Congratulations again, and have an amazing rest of your night. Thank you.
Good evening again. I, I have a script. I might go off of it. I, there, I think there's things I need to, um, there's things I need to say. <laughs> Miss O'Leary, a politician once told me, always speak last. But first, I'd like to thank, thank the senior class for not putting any pictures of me and my many outfits on there. There's some small children that could have been irreparably harmed by seeing those photos. <laughs> Gentlemen, do whatever your wife says. But anyways, on behalf of the Nitro High School staff, I would first like to thank the families of the graduates. It's been a pleasure to serve you and your children for the last four years. You had to adapt and modify your life in order to get them here, and you should be congratulated for that. Next, I'd like to thank the Nitro High School staff. Graduates, you might not know this, but after your sophomore year, the teachers and staff at Nitro High School decided to change the environment of Nitro High School. They wanted to make school fun again. So we came together and we decided to do some fun things, more dances, doing trivia at lunch and after school, playing kickball, and against my wishes, my better wishes, bringing back powder puff football. And this brings me to my next point. Like I've told you many times, I would never cheat. I'm just a really bad referee. <laughs> really bad. But although, And although those things may seem small to you now, trust me, these are the memories that you will take on for the rest of your life. So we hope you enjoyed it and you had a little bit of fun while you're in Nitro High School. Now, finally, Paul wrote in Hebrews 12.1, let us run with perseverance a race marked out for us. And this is something that all of you have done. During your high school career, you could have easily given up and no one would have thought twice. They wouldn't have blamed you. And unfortunately, some of your classmates did, but you did not. You persevered. You overcame obstacles none of us could ever imagine. Like, maybe this wasn't an obstacle, but the second semester of your, your sophomore year, someone came up with the idea, oh, whatever grade you had at third nine weeks, don't worry about it. Can't go any la lower, so you survived that. <laughs> So, but, but not only did you finish, you also, also thrived. And I want to thank each of you for making Nitro High School one of the top high schools in the state of West Virginia. Finally, I want to leave you with this. We love each and every one of you and we'll always be here for you. Thank you. Mr. Redman, on behalf of the staff at Nitro High School, I certify that these students have met the requirements as stated by the West Virginia Board of Education, the Kanawha County Schools Board of Education, and Nitro High School to be graduated as the class of 2022. Nevea Jade Campbell. Alira Ajanice Sanders, attending Bluefield State. Colin Bailey Robinson. Kylie Paige Robinson, Honor Society Band Underwood Scholarship recipient. Sydney Cheyenne Colley, Honors Graduate, Underwood Smith Teaching Scholar. Lena Kate 
Elkins, High Honors Graduate. Mia Paige Yoon Connor. Kaylee Cheyenne Nutter, four-year dance team member. Jeremiah Devon Powell. Ethan Hunter Lacey, four-year varsity football player. Elizabeth Ann O'Leary, highest honor graduate. Kaylee Grace Babbitt, highest honors graduate. Victoria Elizabeth Garns, four years class president. Dakota James Capper Lang, four year show choir member. Thomas Ray Wright II. Jacob Robert Beria. Joshua Tyler Short. Jacob Ryan Hill. Adam Jacob Bird. David Matthew Edward Bowen, honors graduate. Jackson Lee Hager. Joey Brian Lafferty II, highest honors graduate, National Merit Scholar. Elizabeth Ray Orndorff, honors graduate, two years, West Virginia State University dual enrollment student. Kirsten Michaela Showalter, high honors graduate. Josie Marie Townsend. Taylor Ann Gandy, honors graduate. Dylan Christopher Rowe. Jalen Emerald Perry. Danielle Nicole Ward, high honors graduate, 2021 AAA basketball state champion. Caitlin Ryan Pauley, honors graduate. Patricia Christine Ward, high, highest honors graduate, 2021 AAA basketball state champion. Nicole Donato. Elena Jahil Hilfiker. Israel Shay Harless, High Honors Graduate. Tara Lynn Higginbotham, Honors Graduate, Varsity Tennis, four years. Madison Renee Woody. Jaquetta Lynn Nips. Wow. 
Delaney Ray Machado, Honors Graduate. Braxton Chase Smith, 2022 Wrestling State Champion. Jameson Wyatt Fazalari. Christopher Devin Rechtenwald. Alina Deshay White. Bianca Rose Lilly. Skylar Michelle Edwards, pre-nursing completer. Emily Breanne Lancaster, high honors graduate. Isabel Elaine Edmonds, highest honors graduate. Molly Elizabeth Meeker, honors graduate. Kylie Lee Gillenwater, high honors graduate. Aiden Lorenzo Johnson, honors graduate. Co-op, FCA member, AP student. Bryce Nicholas Jones, honors graduate. <laughs> Gavin Lucas Mace. Jordan Kane Waller. Rex Lawson Fisher. Andea Zene Harbin, co-op, completer. Alexis Paige Hager. Brianna Nicole Lowe, high honors graduate. Kiana Lene Diaz, honors graduate. President of the National Honor Society. Magdalena Elizabeth Kessner, high honors graduate, four year show choir member, biomedical completer. Destiny Aaliyah Halstead. Alexis Nicole Miller. Tiana Reese Nicole Davis. Emily Michelle Neely. Allison Denise Unger. Christian Chandler Underwood. Kiera Elizabeth Rayburn. Ryan Olivia Gunter. Celestial Joe Lewis, four year DECA member. Madison Paige Tucker. Rosetta Bell Hambrick, Honors Graduate. Lydia Marie Frampton. Delaney Renee Corliss, High Honors Graduate, five time Congressional Art Participant. Diego Alejandro Ramirez. 
Gavin Robert Young, Honors Graduate. Mason Garrett Young. Serenity Star Hamrick. Tyler Scott Vilsinskis. Oakley Donnell Bradshaw. Start walking. Brooks Dakota Lanham. Woo! Dalton Tyler Smallridge McCartney. Yeah. Colin Isaiah Withrow. Yeah. Devin Hezekiah Watts. Peyton Shade Landers. Jonathan Patrick Lee Rains. Showcat, completer, computer science completer, hype man. Trevor Austin Lowe. Caden Joe Hill. Christopher Robert Alawat. Bryce Andrew Myers, two year varsity football and basketball. Emma Lynn Garretson. Olivia Marie Lewis. Tessaly Brooke Morton, hot honors graduate. Tegan Emery Beasley, highest honors graduate. Grace Lillian Cantrell. Honors graduate. Serena Grace Ann O'Neill. Honors graduate. Carly Beth Schmidt. Jessica Lee Leah Yannick. Honors graduate. Elena Sophia Meharis, highest honors graduate. Colton Nicholas Painter, honors graduate. Caleb Michael Alawat, honors graduate. Chase Edward Saxton. Colton Lee Willard. Chase Bailey Thomas. Thomas Bailey. Corey Matthew Patton. Robert, Robert Marcus Neff, High Honors Graduate, two-year West Virginia State Dual Enrollment. Nathaniel Ray Dudley. Lauren Bailey Walker, High Honors Graduate, four-year biomedical completer. Isabella Faith Mullins, 
High Honors graduate, four-year biomedical completer. Haley Morgan Bell. Carly Ryan Gray, four-year biomedical completer. Keandre Jamar Williams. Delaney Lynn Hill, honors graduate. Brianna Marie Asbury, early childhood development completer. Michaela Marie Strickland. Miranda Arlene Strickland. Samuel Peyton Clark. Brandon Allen Carter. Jordan Christian Doss. Morgan Brianna Stowers, two-year Ben student, NRCMA. Emma Isabel Hopchai. Lucinda May Smith, four-year marching band Wildcat. Michaela Elizabeth Mahini Thompson, honors graduate, four-year biomedical completer. Adrian Winter Oxley. Emma Dare Welker, Honor Society, JROTC, Band DECA. Cassidy Renee Pinson, Rianne Pinson, High Honors Graduate. Cadence Jade Slack. Solomon Ethan Brown. Abby Nicole Wilkinson, co-op. Zenaya Natis Johnson. Molly Reese Sanson. Kelsey Abigail Rose, Nationally Registered Certified Medical Assistant. Brandon Lee Young. Kyle Evan Gill. Wyatt Paul Lacey. Hagen Cole Summers. Bryce Anthony Wolford. Emma Faith Doyle, honors graduate, three-year Honor Society member. Jenna Madison Perkins, honors graduate, three-year Honor Society member. Lily Elizabeth Vance, honors graduate, four-year varsity volleyball player. Lakin Danielle Witt, highest honors graduate. Carlicia Nicole Adams. Emma Elizabeth Flowers. Kaylee Bryn Atkins, three-time business completer. 
Cambry Simone Fuel, business completer. Madeline Grace Lanham. Luke Jennings Kendall Lanham, high honors graduate. Matthew Stewart Good. Jacob Tyler Adkins. David Zane Collins. Johnny Lee Parsons Jr. Malachi McNeil Harrison. Charles Caleb Robbins, Defensive Player, Football Player of the Year, State Track Qualifier. Jaden Ariana O'Brien, four year biomedical science completer. John Thomas Wilson. Lauren Gabrielle Faith Rhodes, four year JROTC completer. Ashton Philip Rakes. Dalton Oki Richardson. Mackenzie Lee Hooker. Tamberlin Joe McClanahan. Cheyenne Marie Boyas. Benjamin Michael. Ardman. Gavin Chase Moran. Braxton Andrew Lede, three time varsity wrestler. Jose Antonio Toledo, four year varsity soccer player. Hunter Austin Bendel. Noah Joseph Thomas. Jace Andrew Jones. Alexander Philip Martino. Allison Elizabeth Pennington, AP and honor student. Jade Emmeline, Emmeline Hunter Formby. Courtney Elise White, business completer. Austin Samuel Hayslip. Computer Science Completer. Cohen Michael Robinson Powell. Jacob Andrew Clark. Mark Anthony Hall III, four-year varsity basketball player. <laughs> One student could not be with us this evening, Jordan Marie Cooper.
a little surprised, a little hurt. Miss Hall? <laughs> Graduates, please rise. By the power vested in me as Nitro High School principal, I hereby declare you the class of 2022. Graduates of Nitro High School, you may now switch your tassels. Everyone, please rise for the singing of the Nitro High School alma mater. Remain standing in respectful silence as the Nitro High School Air Force JROTC Honor Guard retires our nation's colors and remain standing for the recessional. Three, two, one. That concludes tonight's ceremony. Thank you all for coming and God bless.
the whole 